Welcome to Clinically Speaking, the podcast where we share unique clinical cases of interest. I'm your host, Gary Nolan, Clinical Programs Manager for X-Ray at GE Healthcare. Sometimes on Clinically Speaking, we'll show how the latest advancements in our field are enriching care and bringing change to standard protocols. Today, we're looking at a PA chest image from our friends at St. Anthony's Medical Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Let's take a closer look at this image. This image shows a visual anomaly in the left upper lobe at the end of the fourth rib. The anomaly was thought to be related to bone growth versus tissue lesion. The patient presented at St. Anthony's with an historic chest report that described the visual anomaly as a suspected bony growth of the rib. The patient had not been referred for additional imaging or a follow-up. St. Anthony's incorporates dual energy chest exams in its chest imaging protocol. Following their protocol, a dual energy exam was performed. Through dual energy subtraction, the bone anatomy was removed, increasing the visibility of the tissue-based anatomy. A 12 millimeter nodule was discovered lying directly behind the area of concern, ruling out the possibility of a rib-related bone growth. The patient was sent for a chest CT exam and the left upper lobe nodule was confirmed. This case is just one example of how digital radiography and advanced applications are changing patients' protocols, diagnosis, and treatments. Physicians saw in the x-ray exam what was confirmed on the CT image, therefore changing their chest imaging protocol. We thank St. Anthony's Medical Center for providing this unique clinical case. Remember, if you have an interesting digital exam you'd like to share with your colleagues, contact your GE Healthcare representative. We'll see you next time. I'm Gary Nolan, hoping you'll keep on clinically speaking about digital radiography. <laughs>